So the Wave Glider is an unmanned surface vehicle. It essentially is a the, the best designed for um, persistent operations in a maritime deep water environment. Um, it's used across the world at the moment. The way it works is to harness the ocean data, uh, sorry, harness the ocean uh, movement of the up-down motion and turn that into forward propulsion. So it has two parts. It has the float concept at the top, which encompasses solar panels for energy. So that's where you get your power consumption for communications and data. And for the actual propulsion, it uses the, it harnesses the energy of the sea and the up-down motion and translates that into forward propulsion. It can be up there 365 days a year, uh, delivering consistent data. It's always moving, but we have the ability with the technology within the system to stay on station to provide anything from border protection, border security, uh, to met meteorological data, fisheries information. So all of that data is um, able to be processed in a place out in the water where otherwise it may be more, more risky or more uh, difficult from a cost perspective. So we're able to scale up this technology, moving from unmanned single units to fleets of these things and greater coverage, knowing that the risk elements taken out of the uh, concern. We're now at something like 390 of these things out in the world, in the oceans, used in science, uh, energy for oil and gas, used in um, defence, security, and as I, as I mentioned before, fisheries. So this is becoming a mature platform, it's becoming a proven solution. We've done trips from Australia all the, all the way to America. We've done trips from Hawaii to the Pitcairn Islands. These things have been out there consistently 235 days of the year, 365 days of the year. We've got Guinness Book of Records for these things out in the water, providing proven, consistent, reliable information.